Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is Sean's View Entertainment right here, YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with a crucial backstage update as it concerns the future of Ryback. There has been a lot of internal talks about the future of Ryback lately, and the link, the source, the proof is in the description of this video. I'm just here with a view. First off, officials feel that he hasn't really developed well in the ring like they were hoping for. There is a feeling that he's actually worse in the ring now than he has ever been. He also has heat on him for roughing up several different talents, naming including CM Punk. Officials also feel that Ryback doesn't present himself well when making appearances for the company. WWE has got feedback back on several appearances that he has made over the past few months where people said that he didn't look happy to be there. Even when he was a face, when he was a, when he was a good guy, looked like he didn't want to be there. Look, look, looked like he was mad, looked like he was irritated. Vince McMahon has lost so much faith in Ryback that he may remove Paul Heyman from him so Heyman can continue to move forward. Well, I'll tell you what, this is a hell of a thing because, I mean, I from what I see on television, Ryback's doing, you know, he's doing good. I mean, him and Paul Heyman developing this, this partnership and this great storyline with CM Punk. And it just seems like Ryback's doing all the right things for all the wrong reasons, perhaps. Um... I'm a little taken back by this because Ryback, I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of Ryback and, you know, what he has to offer. But uh, for some reason or another, just like the, with Dolph Ziggler, I mean, the guy's getting a bad reputation backstage. He's rubbing people the wrong way. And then you have Ryback, who WWE officials feel he hasn't improved in the ring. Hey, listen, Ryback isn't supposed to be this five-star spectacular wrestler. I mean, look at Bill Goldberg. He didn't have any five-star matches in his career, and if he did, it was somebody else um, pushing him to that limit to get to that place. Ryback isn't one of those guys that's going to be doing some fancy maneuvers. He's a powerhouse. He's smash mouth. He's in your face. He's not a man that's made, it, made to go in there and, and have this reputation of uh, being on the level of a Bret Hart or a Shawn Michaels or a Triple H or a Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Ryback is who and what he, he represents. And um, I just hope that the WWE and Ryback can agree to come to some kind of solution to fix this problem. Because you know what? WWE actually can have a, a blame in, in, in Ryback, uh, his, the dwindling down of his career. Because the fact of the matter is, after all the months of building up Ryback and then getting that feed me more chant over. And then the WWE just turns him heel. The WWE has a, a part to blame for themselves for ruining uh, Ryback's reputation and his image. So, I mean, I, I you know, I, I don't think Ryback is all entirely to blame in this as much as the WWE's handling and the mistreatment of Ryback. Your comments and your opinions, and you know, you gotta, you can't help but feel for Ryback, who has definitely made a name for himself. He could be a mega star, but, you know, one thing leads to another and things are not looking up for Ryback. Subscribe with your comments. Later.